In this video, you're gonna get my secret ninja trick for white balancing. If you're just tuning in, I wanna let you know about our Kickstarter project. We have listened and you'll have a chance to make Cinema Grade on Windows a reality. In the description below this video, you'll find a link to our signup page where you can join our early bird list and get notified when the Kickstarter begins. If you missed my last video, I encourage you to go back and watch it because I reveal how to get perfectly exposed images in the color grade. Let's get to secret number two. Ninja tricks for white balancing. What can sometimes happen on set if you don't get your camera properly white balanced or there's something in the scene that's affecting the color temperature, you can get these really strong color casts or color tints. The best way to spot this and fix it is with the RGB parade scope. Looking at this image and its corresponding trace, we can easily spot the imbalance between the red, green, and blue traces. If we're lucky enough to have a white area in our image, we can identify that part in the trace and use it as a reference for our correction. To make it even easier, I'm gonna use the mask tools to isolate the white reference in the shot. And now we can clearly see it in the RGB parade scope. Next, we can use the temperature and tint sliders if you got them and adjust them until the traces line up evenly in a horizontal line achieving white balance. When red, green, and blue mix equally, we get white. So that's how this works. An alternative approach is to use the color wheels and what I suggest doing is to get into the habit of using up, down, and left to right motions with the gain control, the color wheel we'll want to use for this, and we'll do it until the traces line up evenly getting our white balance. Another option for white balancing is using the RGB curves and this actually might be more intuitive for you. How this works is if we have too much of one color or not enough of another, we can simply add or subtract by clicking on the top parts of the curve and either dragging to the left to add more of that color or down to subtract it. So for this one, I'll click on the top of the red curve and drag it to the left until the red and green align. The blue channel is elevated above the others, so I'll click on the top of the blue curve and drag it down, subtracting blue until all three color channels align. Now, if you're in a hurry, using a white balance color picker can save a ton of time. It's not foolproof and it doesn't work every time, but it'll do in a pinch. Furthermore, you can even just use it as a starting point and then further adjust manually. I particularly love the auto white balancing feature found within Cinema Grade and it's top notch because it relies on an algorithm similar to the white balancing algorithm found in cameras. So most of the time it is spot on. To enable it, just hit the auto white balancing button and bada bing, bada bang. Now as a bonus tip, because we love you, what are you supposed to do when you don't have something white in the shot? This one trick alone will save you so much aggravation and you're going to love it. So here I have a shot in desperate need of white balancing, but I have absolutely nothing white in the scene that I can use as a reference. So in this case, the RGB parade scope isn't going to help me. The only thing that I have as a known variable are the skin tones. Now you might be thinking, how the heck is that going to help me? Well, you might know that the vector scope has an indicator for where the flesh tones should be and it's known as the flesh line or eye bar. So what we can do is isolate just the skin tones so we can see where they sit in relation to the flesh line and then all we have to do is use the same white balancing tools we used earlier to get the skin tone to land on the flesh line. Now it's a little more finicky, but you'll be surprised by how well this trick works even when you don't have anything that's white. Booyah, what do you think of that? Awesome, right? Well, I hope this was helpful and that you start seeing better white balanced images. Don't forget to sign up for our early bird list to get notified about all the Kickstarter details, when it will be coming, etc. And I'll see you in the next secret.